this one what I'm going to do is add the internal walls on the ground floor so let's get started so I'm going to press 7 and come into top view so to add a wall what I'm going to do is again pick an insertion point so I'm going to select the internal walls here tab into edit mode I'm going to zoom in here and select this face over here shift s and cursor to select it okay if I tab back to object mode now I can come over to the create tab and choose wall okay and that knocks in a wall there for me and what I need to do is rotate this so I'm going to press R Z 90 so for the width to match what we have on our outline I'm going to type in 15 cm press enter so we just need to move it into position so I'm going to press GY snap that up there GX and snap it over to here Okay, so the next thing then is just to get the length. So if I just click here, drag over, snap up here, and I'm going to increase then the parts to two. So I can do the same thing. I can grab this by the arrow here and just drag this over and snap it up to there. Now we're going to have to add individual walls because obviously we can't extrude from this section here, unfortunately. But it's going to be the same process. Pick an insertion point and add the wall. So what I'm going to do is come over here just tab into edit mode, shift S, cursor to select it, and tab back to object mode. Now this cursor is sitting on the ground plane, so it's gonna always add the objects at the same level. It's one of the advantages of having the outline to begin with. If we come over here, I can select wall, and it's gonna point this direction. So what I'm gonna do is just press GY and snap this down here. And again, I'm just gonna click in the width and change this to 15 cm press enter and GX snap that over here okay come around here grab the arrow and snap this over here to the endpoint okay so that's really the process and I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and add in another wall here right the way across and two more here to close up this space here and that will be it for the ground floor okay so I've just finished off and I've added those walls in if by any chance that these dimensions disappear if you select an object you can come over here and click the manipulate and that switches on and off your ability to grab these arrows so that's just one thing to notice okay but otherwise that's going to do it for this one